Making things with wood usually requires a couple of tools for cutting. Cut wrong and you might have to start all over again. This is bamboo filament. It's made with a mixture of bamboo wood and PLA. Parts are sturdy, like a block of wood. It feels and smells just like real wood. It's great for electronic enclosures, sculptures, and of course, cosplay props. Bamboo filament works just like regular PLA, so no heated bed is required. Although you can use heat to make the parts stick to the bed. While printing, you can even change the color of the filament by switching between higher and lower temperatures. Print speeds of 50 millimeters per second work pretty well for most parts, and it's safe to use with direct drives and even Bowden systems. Use slower or no retractions to avoid the gears from grinding the filament. Cleanup is very simple. Leftover bits from retraction are easy to pull off with your bare hands. They shouldn't be sharp, just be careful not to get any splinters. Smooth out the remaining edges using a flat metal putty. Trim off any small hair artifacts using a flush diagonal cutter. It's safe to clean up any blobs left behind as they'll be sanded away and stained later. Make sure to check your gears before printing additional parts. You want to make sure that the gear teeth don't have any sawdust clogged in it. Now let's take a look at post-processing. We'll finish off the parts by applying a stain. It's real wood so we can use regular old wood stains to finish off the parts. First, we'll start off by sanding down all the parts using 230 grit sandpaper. Make sure to sand down all the small spaces. You can apply your stain patterns with different colors or even layer them on top using a multi-layer stain. We'll start off with a dark walnut for the first layer. Stir and use a cloth to apply a textured stroke on the blade that'll really give it that wood grain pattern. Don't apply a lot of pressure, just gently glide the cloth across the blade. Fold the cloth into a small shape and then apply one or two strokes to the cross guard and then both sides of the blade. Let it dry for about 5 minutes and then use an 80 grit sandpaper to remove any blotches. This will also help you get that weathered look. After applying a second coat of red oak color, we'll sand that down again and then apply a small amount of green. Once applied, quickly wipe it off. This will give it that hint of green in the wood. And then to finish it off, we'll switch back to 230 grit sandpaper. And just like real wood, you can use fillers to plug in any gaps. Wood putty worked great for filling in some of the gaps on the top part of the blade tip. Make sure to apply it after you're done staining, and then let it dry and then sand off any leftovers. And that's it, you can keep applying multiple layers until you're happy with it. You can really see the difference when compared to an unfinished part. It's definitely worth the effort to post process. And that's 3D printing with wood. You can pick up a spool of bamboo filament from the Adafruit shop. And don't forget to watch our 3D printing show every Thursday where you can get a coupon code. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to design, share, repeat.